If you are someone who's trying to build a career in the field of computers and technology, then this video is going to be really important for you. Hey guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, in the past so many years, I've created a lot of videos on computers related courses, technology related courses, specifically BCA course, which stands for Bachelors in Computer Application. Bachelors in Computer Application, it's top colleges, the difference between BCA and BSc in Computer Science, BSc in Data Science, the future of analytics, the difference between BCA and BTEC and a lot more. But I still know that there are so many of you students and your parents who have a lot of misinformation, fake news, wrong information regarding the BCA program. And that is what I am going to clear in this particular video. Guys, in this particular video, I am going to be discussing about three major myths that you and your parents still have about bachelors in computer application course. Guys, please make sure you watch this video till the very end. Before I get started, you guys know the drill. In case if you're new to my channel, please consider pressing the subscribe button and the bell icon because you guys will get regular updates from me. And if you like the content that I make on my channel, make sure you give me a thumbs up and comment below if you have any doubts, questions, queries. Now, let's rightly dive into it. Okay guys, so the first myth that I get to hear from parents and students is that BCA program is only for students who come from a computer's background. Guys, like I said, it's a complete myth. It is not true. BCA stands for Bachelors in Computer Applications and it is a very beginner's level course for somebody who wants to build a career in the field of computers, technology, software, programming and a lot more. So I know a lot of the top colleges in the country do not have computers as a mandatory requirement for you to apply and then make it to the course. That means even if you come from a commerce background, you come from a humanities background, you are still eligible to apply for this program, which is called BCA. Now, yes, one little catch that is here is that some of the colleges have computers as a mandatory subject that you need to have. So whether you are a science student or a commerce student or a humanity student, you specifically need to have computers or IP in your class 11th and 12th in order to apply for these colleges. Other than that, there is no other requirement. A second and another important catch is that a lot of these top colleges in the country don't have computers as a requirement. That means they are not requiring you to have computers or IP that you should have studied in your class 11th and 12th. However, all these colleges in today's time have their own entrance test or entrance examination before they select you to a particular college or an institute. And in that entrance test, they have a section for computers. There would be other sections as well. There would be mathematics, there will be general knowledge, there will be logical reasoning, data analysis, interpretation. But at the same time, they will have a section of 20, 30, 40 marks on computers. Now for all you students, guys, I'll be honest, in the past, I've had so many students and case studies of these people who come from a humanities background, who come from a commerce background, and suddenly they realize that computers has a lot of potential or technology is something they're really interested in, or they are really interested in the field of artificial intelligence and they want to study more about it and they feel BCA would be the right course choice for them. And even if these people did not have computers as a subject in class 11th and 12th, they still made it to the best of the colleges. Now, how did they do that is that they were preparing for one, two, three months before the entrance test so that they could really do well in the entrance test. And obviously the entrance test of each college would differ. Some of them would require you to have Java. Some of them would require you to have studied Python before. Some of them would require you to have studied C++ before. And some of them would require you just to have basic knowledge of computers, like what is LLM or what is LAN or what is, you know, basic, basic computer things like RAM, ROM and all these things. So even if you've not studied 11th and 12th computers, but you know what are binary numbers and all the things that we studied till class 10, you can still do well on the entrances. Obviously, this differs from university to university, but that's the main information that I wanted to give you. So in case if you're somebody who's interested in computer application, BC as a program, but have not studied Python, Java, or any of the IP related courses or subjects, you can still apply. Second myth that is there amongst parents and students is science students should not apply for the BCA program. They should only and only go for a BTEC program. Unfortunately, guys, this is also incorrect. Obviously, I'm not going to be debating here about whether BCA is good or BTEC is good and all of that. You guys are smart enough to understand what are the pros and cons of BCA and BTEC. But I just want to tell you that if you are a science student, you can still apply for the BCA program. There is no mandatory rule that you only need to apply for a BTEC in computer science as a course uh, for your undergrad colleges. No, you can also go for a BCA. 
Now again, in the past, I've had so many students who've come to me who did not want to study B.Tech and went for a B.Sc. in Computer Science program, B.Sc. in Data Analytics program, B.C. as a program. Now their major reasoning for that is that Kavaj Bhaiya, even though we know that maybe B.Tech might be better for us, we are not interested in B.Tech because B.Tech has a lot of subjects relating to physics, chemistry and mathematics which we are not really interested in. Whereas we feel B.C. as a course will be a better choice for us because it is going to teach us hardcore computers only. So only we need to study about computers, programming languages, mobile applications, web, AI, all these things is what we are interested in. And we are not really interested in mathematics, physics, chemistry and that is why we don't want to go for B.Tech. We want to go for a B.C.A. program. So this has happened in the past and so many students have taken this option. Now again, it really depends on individual cases of what do you want to do, what your family wants you to do and where do you feel you can build up a better career potential for yourself. But I just want to tell you as a science student, BCA gates are always open for you. It's not that as a science student, you only need to do a B.Tech in computer science. Third myth that is there in the market is that BCA graduates can only get very low paying salary. Now again guys, see, the moment I get into numbers and I tell you the average packages, figures, all of that, I know it's going to be very debatable. Some of you might comment below that, no, we got half of the money that you talked about. And some of you might comment and say that, no, bhaiya, we got so much more money just by doing the BCA program. Chill, let me, even though it is controversial and debatable, let me still tell you. See guys, the average package that you can get after doing a BCA program can be somewhere ranging from 6 lakhs to 8 lakhs. Now this is average. It could be below this also depending on which college you did your BCA from and it could be a little higher than this also again depending on which college you did your BCA from. And obviously if you compare it with the top B.Tech colleges, this salary is actually very low paying. If you compare it with medium level B.Tech colleges like tier 2 B.Tech colleges, it would be at par. If you compare it with shitty or 3 tier B.Tech colleges and their B.Tech CSC program, this is a good salary. So it always depends when you're saying it's a low paying salary in comparison to what? Number one. Number two thing which you should always keep in mind is that the trend in the tech industry is really changing. To be honest, the people who are hiring in the tech background, they are not really caring about your degree or what background you come from. They are majorly caring about what skill sets you have. So if you have learned the programming languages really well, if you've done or built up some real tools that they're really fascinated by, if you've done some live projects, there's a highly likely chance that they will select you and give you an equivalent pay to that of a B.Tech student or sometimes even higher. Guys, in my past experience, I have seen students getting hired by Amazon, by Microsoft, by so many other new startups at very good positions, very good salary. Again, salaries above 20 lakhs, 25 lakhs, 30 lakhs. They, these people have just got, done a BCA program with some of them have one year, two year work ex. But the reality is if you are willing to offer them really good skill sets, they are willing to hire you. So I think gone are the days when they're only going to look at the fact that, oh, you come from a B.Tech background or a B.C.A. background, so we should hire you and we should give, you know, give you this kind of money. No, they will always ask you, what do you know? Which programming language you've done? What programs have you coded? What softwares you built? What live projects you've done? Where have you done your internships? How did you contribute? And if you all can genuinely prove it to them that you know this is what you've done and this is what they're looking for, and it's a good match of skills and required skills, they are willing to pay you the money that you literally want and even the best of the firms, the best companies, whether it's an Amazon, Microsoft, they are willing to do that. They've shun away with the fact that they only need to hire people from IIT background or the top engineering colleges. No. So yes, guys, that's about it for this particular video. I wanted to keep this video very short and crisp, but I hope I've covered all the major myths that are still revolving around the market about BC and computer applications related programs. Do put it up in the comment section if you want me to make a video about the top colleges for BCA and BTEC in India and I'll be more than happy to do it. At the same time, if you have other suggestions of the videos that I should make on my channel, please put it up in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help. Please check the link in the description below for my personal guidance and doubt king session in case if you're looking for career clarity or any help if you want me to help you with your career trajectory, I'll be more than happy to help. Like I said at the start, if you like this kind of content, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Do follow me on Instagram and on LinkedIn. I'll see you with another video very soon. Take care guys. Bye-bye.